and welcome to Our Gray House Vlogs. I'm in the garage of Our Gray House and I'm about to head to the old house because I need to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring a load over. It's 7.30 and Best Buy's gonna be at this house at eight o'clock. So it just takes me a few minutes to get over to that house. I'll load up some stuff really quick and then I'm gonna bring a load back. So then, hey, I have another load done and we don't have that much left. Let's see if this will work. We don't have that much left. You're probably gonna bounce. Yeah, I knew it. Sorry. We don't have that much left, but we do have a reasonable amount. Whoops. I've gotta press it for longer than longer than two seconds. So um, I always wait until the garage door is all the way down because I read somewhere that like somebody could like go put like their hand over the sensor and then it'll go back up but you'll have already been gone if you don't wait to make sure that it doesn't do that anyway and then they can get in your house and the cats are in the house oh so I need to arm the alarm so that they are okay I'm gonna try to arm the alarm differently because when we arm it regular it counts down like it, if you're gonna be like if you're doing whatever anyway it counts down or there's a way to arm it just like immediately arm it, which is what I'm going to do. And, oh, you can do arms, okay. I'll have to see if it does that because, um, if, it, if it beeps, because what I'm trying to do is not scare the cats. <laughs> so I don't know, if it's counting down and they're like beep, 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 it might be scaring the cats. And I'm not about scaring my cats, you know what I'm saying? Also, when I get back, while they're there, I'm gonna put on my makeup and I'm gonna actually try to put some curls in this hair today. <laughs> Cause we're gonna try to be fancy. I have nothing planned. I have, that's a lie. I have several things planned. I have this appointment at eight o'clock and our granddaughter who plays fast pitch salt, she plays like softball for school or whatever, it's fast pitch. Anyway, she has a game at 1230 and here, I'm gonna pick you up so I can try. She has a game at 1230 and I'm gonna try to make it. I don't know why they have a game in the middle of the day, but they do, so I'm gonna try to go because it's not too far away. Unless it's raining, because it might be raining today. <laughs> anyway, so that's the plan for today. And then after that, I don't have anything to do but work on that HOA stuff that I'm always working on, which is fine because that's, that's what I do. I did find a place to have the meeting, which is awesome. And I'm waiting to see if the closer place will allow us to do a meeting there because that would be even awesomer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah, that, anyway, that's what we're doing today. So you can you can watch me unpack and you can watch the AT&T. That's not AT&T, it's Best Buy. You can watch the Best Buy people set up stuff. Oh, I got Spectrum moved up a whole day. So instead of coming Friday, they're gonna come Thursday. Woo -woo. But yeah, that's like one day earlier of having internet. So, fantastico in my book, if you ask me. So anyway, okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm at Starbucks now without makeup on. About to get me a hot chocolate because the Best Buy people are not coming until 10 o'clock, so. Okay, I just had to tell you guys really quick. So I just had a moment where I thought to myself, I've got my Starbucks hot chocolate extra hot because that's how I like it. And I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna go check on the house. I'm not gonna go check on the house. I live at the house, y'all. I live at the house now. Wow. It just felt kinda like surreal just then. I was like, but wait, I, I don't have to check on it. I live there. So yeah, anyway, just had to share that with y'all. Hey guys, it is nighttime. It is about 9.45 and I'm fixing to go to bed. That's a lie. I'm fixing to get ready to go to bed. So today was pretty eventful. Can I put you up here? Is that okay? Not, you can't really see me. Yeah, okay, so I guess I'll just hold you. Um, so today, the Geek Squad guy came out and it was a guy, not a girl, and they set up the TVs. So we have new TV in the living room, a new TV in the master bedroom, and we have Roku in one, on one of the TVs and we have Fire Stick on the other TV. And yes, we can change them out if we want to, but 
We're also getting Spectrum on Thursday. And yeah, so let me tell you about my day. The cats are playing. Yeah, they missed me today. You guys miss mama? Did you guys miss mama? So we have them set up in this room right here just because we still have some residual contractors coming in and we're not, well, we're pretty much moved all the way over, but just in case a contractor's coming or something like that, I set up them up in this room so that way I can put them in here. They're comfortable. They have some hiding spots. The captain likes to hide behind this door right there. He likes to hide behind it when people are here. So um, I wanted him to have a safe spot. Now Socks, on the other hand, he is like, hey, yo, come on in. Come on in. Here's where the snacks are. Uh, like, if you guys would see how the cat acts, it's truly like that. So, um, I'm not usually worried about him, but I don't like to stress out either cat, to be honest. And, um, so that's why I try to create this room for them for the time being. It's actually my office. And then eventually I will, um, convert it into my office and move some of their cat toys out into the living room and stuff like that. So... We um, still don't have a closed date because I'm not sure when the funds will come in from the investments that we had to move around. And so we're kind of waiting on that. But the owner, the new owner of our old house wants to move in. And so I'm trying to get everything done so that I can have the cleaning lady come Friday. I think it was Friday. Maybe I did Thursday. I think Friday. So I can have the cleaning lady come Friday and get that all situated. Then we'll have the lady come over sometime on Friday, walk her through the house, kind of explain how things work. She's a first time home buyer, so maybe she just has some questions and, you know, sometimes like, oh, well you have to jiggle the toilet handle or something. I don't know. I don't really know what she wants to know from us, but because there's not a whole lot to know other than just regular stuff, I don't, I don't know. So, um, we're going to give her the keys and the garage door opener and all that kind of stuff. Um, Marvin has one more load to take. He's cleaned out the entire garage, but the storage shed, he didn't clean that out yet. And I don't know if he's bringing over the windmill or not. We have a windmill out by the, the shed, so I don't know if he's bringing that or not. But um, I still have some dishes over there and some food, like spices and stuff. So I probably have probably one more load. Um, and then we'll have to just go through the house and make sure we're not forgetting anything. I'll have to get us, make sure that Marvin or somebody checks because I can't see high up. Like I went to go get the cereal tonight because we left the cereal over there and literally I, I can't reach above the, the <laughs> so I'm like, Ugh. Also, Carrie and Gavin need to take out the refrigerator sometime between now and Friday. So I have to call and remind them about that. And, and I'm sure there's probably still some stuff in the freezer part, so. I'm gonna do all that in the morning. I'm gonna get up early-ish and go straight away over there and take care of the final load, hopefully. The final countdown. Get that taken care of and then go to work. I was at work until, so let me tell you why I was at work. So I help manage that HOA and I'm, I'm giving it up like somebody else is gonna do it, but for the time being, I do it. And we have our annual meeting coming up so we have to secure a spot for that and all that kind of stuff. So, um, long story short, we have to do the year end reports and prep for the meeting and do the budget and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of just like, um, little, like, um, not trivial tasks because they're important, but it's just like, it just feels like busy work. It doesn't feel like you... Um, like can really see what you're, you know, the result of what you're doing besides, oh, I have these, this many reports. So, um, anyway, and we're holding the meeting at a very, a new place. I've never been there before. Uh, and then the very next day I leave for San Antonio to go for my wing mom's conference. So that's awesome. So I had to prepare for that and prepare for the meeting. And so the geek squad guy came out today. He was supposed to be here between eight and 12. Well, he called me about 10 till 8 and he said, oh, I'm not going to be there until, you know, 
10 o'clock or 10 30 and I was like okay so that just gave me more time to move stuff from the mulberry house to over here so uh I you know took advantage of the time and got myself hot chocolate and came over here what are you, what are you doing Anyway, so um, I brought a big load over here and I started to unload it. And then the Geek Squad guy came, it was like about 10, 15 or so. I don't even remember what time, but he was here to like two something. Um, oh God. Dude, seriously, <laughs> hurry up. Um, I'm not, it's not like I'm unhappy with the work that he did, but I was just like, yeah, okay, I gotta, I gotta go to work. So I called Marvin and I said, hey, you're gonna have to come home on time today because I've, I've got to go. And he's like, well, I'm busy, da, da. I, no, you got to come home. So he hurried up as much as he could and he got home. And I got to, up to the office about 2.30, I think, or something. And um, then I was there till like 8.30. That's when I left. Um, because I was working, I, I grabbed lunch on the way in and sat down and I didn't, I didn't leave, didn't get up, did not pass go, did not collect $200 because I had to set post for wing moms for tomorrow and I had to bounce Cantura for February and I had to just, just stuff, I had to cut checks, I had to do blah, blah, blah. So I got it all done and tomorrow we're going to do more work for um, the uh, the stuff that we're working on. <laughs> I'm so tired, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing, or right, that's what I did today, and I didn't get home till late, so then on the way home, I said I'll stop by and get the cereal, grabbed a few, just a couple things that I could just grab on the way out, then I went to the store and got a few more things for the house, because we needed sugar, and he wanted um, bananas, and I was like, oh, you know what, tomorrow in the crock pot, I'm going to make um, Italian chicken. And it's just simple recipe. You put chicken in the crock pot and you put zesty Italian dressing on top, like a whole bottle. I use two bottles. And you cook it all day long and then it's nice and tender and so yummy. And I serve it over rice. And I was like, I'm gonna surprise Marvin. And I bought some walnut brownies to surprise myself. And as I was pulling into the driveway, I was like, I left the crock pot at the other house. <laughs> So in the morning, when I go and you know pick up another load, I'll, of course I'll be sure and pick that up so that I can come home, get it prepped, so I can make Italian chicken for dinner tomorrow, and that'll be really good. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna go. Oh, he was just like propped on here. Uh, I'm gonna go and take a shower, a hot shower now, because Tommy, our builder, stopped by. He fixed the shower. He fixed the overspray stuff. It was just texture on there. And he fixed, what else did he fix? Something else, I can't remember. He fixed a few things while he was here. And um, the fireplace guy is supposed to come sometime tomorrow. And the cabinet guy is supposed to bring back the thing tomorrow, uh, the missing cabinet link tomorrow. And then, yeah, so getting things wrapped up and getting things all done and just unpacking. And as I'm unpacking, I'm just like looking at stuff and like, do I really want it in the house? Am I gonna wear it, use it, love it, whatever? Does it spark joy? And all that kind of stuff. So, super tired. And I've rambled on for probably close to 10 minutes now, so whatever. But I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.